through it. We feel comfortable with it. Um, but I think we should be good. We Everyone's happy? All right, so let's take a look at page 189. Please have it out. <clears throat> and I'm just going to run through the answers real quick. Stop me if there's something additional I need to help you with. And so problem number one. Problem number one, they say the speed of light is this. So we want to put it in scientific notation. So I'm going to go 1.86 times 10. So the decimal's right here right now. Let's make that a better dot, make it red. So I'm going to move it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay? So this means it's a big number. Is 186,000 a big number? Sure. If I had 186,000 ice cream cones, life would be good. With ice cream in it, not just the cones. Okay. Problem number two. Uh, they give us this 0. 0.0036. We want to make it scientific notation, so I'm going to make it 3.6 times 10. So let's see. I'm going to move the decimal. One, two, three. So this is to a negative three. That negative three means that I was dealing with a small decimal originally. So please note that the exponents mean something. All right, number three, skip. Well, two raised to the sixtieth fourth power. I can't find a scientific notation unless I plug it into the calculator, and I'm not going to do that. All right, number four says the radius of the moon is this to the third. So I want to take it out of here. So I'm going to move the decimal right. And sometimes I might have to add zeros, sometimes I don't. Let's see. One, two, three. I don't have to add any zeros to this one. It's done as is. Okay. Number five. I get 1.3 times 10 to the negative 2. What does the negative 2 mean? Am I going to move the decimal right or left? Well, I moved it to the right when it was a positive, so the only other choice that's left. All right, so if I move it left, I need to add. I need to add as a out front. So I have 0 0.013 is the same thing as 1.3 times 10 to the negative two. So note that you might have to add a value. And then last one, 1 1.8 times 10 to the seventh power. Okay, this is going to go right seven. Okay, so ready? Count with me. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so 18 million is the same thing as 1.8 times 10 to the seventh power. So what's that? I don't know. It might have been a made-up fictitious number that we came up with, but I don't know. Maybe it is. I don't know. I mean, that's a lot of money. That's good walking around money. That means you could have McDonald's every day, all the time. All right. So now I'm going to be over on page 190, okay? So I'm going to walk through these. Make sure that your answers match my answers. Make corrections if you need to. All right. So I have x squared y, the whole quantity is raised to the third. So I have to realize this is to the first, multiply here and here. So I'm going to get x to the sixth, y to the third. That's my answer. Notice how it distributed in. Number eight. Mm -hmm. All right, ready? So 2c to the third, all to the fourth. So that's going to come here and here. So that's going to give me 2 to the fourth, c to the twelfth. I'm pretty sure you can do 2 to the fourth. It's 2 times 2, which is 4, times 2, which is 8, times 2, which is 16. I'm pretty sure you can handle that. There's your answer. Oh, yeah, that's the answer. Number 9.
Okay, yes, there is a negative exponent, but let's clear the exponent first. So I'm going to get v to the negative 6. v to the negative 6, I don't want a negative exponent. So it's right now as a numerator, it's over 1. So now I'm going to make it this. That's my answer. All seem okay? All right, number 10. Now, this is one of the problems that you're going to try and do too much in your head because you're teenagers. And we're just as people would do, try and do too much in our head. All right, so I'm going to do a little bit at a time. This comes here and comes here. So I get 3 squared, which is 9 b to the negative 4. Do you feel comfortable with that so far? Then I'm going to take this 3, come in here and here. So that's going to give me a to the 6, because 2 times 3 is 6, and b to the 12th. Now, I can, if I'd like, get rid of the negative exponent, or I could just say, I know I have this, and if I add negative 4 and 12 together, I get what? 8. So if you moved it down and you did a tug of war, it still gets to come out the same. Number 11. What do I do? Yeah, that comes here and here. So 3 squared is 9. 8 squared is 64. 9 over 64 does not reduce. There you go. All right, ready? This outside 3 comes here, so I get 2 to the 3rd, which we can do in a sec. P to the 3rd, which will stay as is, and P to the, or 5 to the 3rd. Okay, I'm pretty sure because you all have a calculator, 2 times 2 times 2, that's 8. P to the 3rd, 5 times 5 times 5 is 125. And 8 over 125 won't reduce, so that's all it is. Do we feel comfortable? Very cool. All right, can I move off the screen? Thank you. Number 13. All right, ready? This comes here and it comes here, multiplying power to power. So 4 times 5 is 20, 2 times 5 is 10. I have X and Ys. They won't do any tug of wars because they're different letters. Number 14, X to the fourth, Y to the negative 2, raised to a negative 3. Yes, we have a negative exponent. Well, let's just take care of the multiplication first. So that's going to give me X to the negative 12. Y to the negative 6. What should I do last? Yeah, flip-flop it. Y to the 6 comes up. It's now a positive exponent. X to the 12th moves down. It's now a positive exponent. And it's right there. So a negative exponent just means it'll move from a numerator to a denominator or vice versa. And when it moves, the sign of the exponent changes to a different value. Okay, it, cha it changes from positive to negative or negative to positive, depending on which way you want to go with it. All right, number 15. Okay, I do have a negative exponent here. That's a 5. So let's not worry about the negative exponent yet. Let's go power to power. So I'm going to get x to the negative 3 on top, y to the 15th on bottom. Which one wants to move? Um, the top. 
Okay, so the top's going to move down. The bottom stays there. What do I need as a placeholder now? If everything moved out of it, what is the placeholder? One. Real quick, anyone need to show me any old work? Here. All right. So the first one, the two is not interrupted. This comes here and here, so I get x to the fifth, y to the fifth. Is that okay? Now I'm going to get 3 squared. 3 squared is 9. x squared, y to the eighth. And then multiply the numbers. 2 times 9 is 18. Add the exponents on top because we combine them together. So I get x to the 7th. Add the exponents on top so I get y to the 13th. Done. <clears throat> Again, I'm start, trying to take my time on this. I'm trying to get you make sure you got space. But... All right, number 17. Okay, this one people might start getting in trouble on because you want to start reducing right away. I guess you could... But I would take care of that negative outside exponent first and then start getting rid of things. So that's going to come here. So it's going to give me x to the tw uh, negative 12. That comes here. It gives me y to the negative 15. This comes here. So that gives me x to the negative 21st. And that comes here. That gives me y to the positive 6. What's the only one of those that's not going to move? The y to the 6, very good. Everything else is going to move. So this is going to move, this is going to move, and this is going to move. Okay, meaning when I say move, it's going to go top to bottom or bottom to top. Okay, so I'm going to get x to the 21st on top, x to the 12th on bottom, y to the 15th on bottom, and the y to the 6th never moved. Tug of war with the x's, top wins by 9, I believe. It's not a tug of war with the y's though, it's a combine them, so I get y to the 21st. Almost done. We good? Number 18, here we go. All right, so I have the outside power to a power. Yes, we have some negative exponents. So let's not worry about the negative exponents yet. So that comes here. That gives me x to the negative 14, y to the 21st, x to the negative 9, y to the negative 12. What's the only thing up there that's not going to move? What's the only thing up there that's not going to move? 21, yeah. All right, everything else is going to switch locations, so it's going to move, going to move, going to move. So let's rewrite it with the moved spot. So I have x to the 9th on top, y to the 12th on top, y to the 21st, never moved, over x to the 14th. I think I can do tug of war with the x's. Who wins, top or bottom? By how many? Five. Five, good. Not a tug of war with these. It's just combined together, so add them up. Yeah, there you go. All right, friends. This problem here, I can guarantee you 
two people will skip this problem on the test. Doesn't equal zero. The whole quantity is raised to the zero power. The answer to this is just one. That's all it is. If you have a number, a number that's not zero, if you have one to the zero, a quantity to the zero, an equation to the zero, it comes out to one. If you get zero to zero, it's undefined. No, I'm not going to throw an undefined term at you. Okay? This will get skipped on the test. And it's amazing because it's like, that's the gimme. It's like, you know, people coming up, uh, I think there's a misprint, x to the e, I don't know what x to the e is. I don't either. Y to the pi? I, yeah, I, I don't know. I just don't know. So, but it comes out to one, I know that. So I would like start that on your homework or make a note of that. Because that could just be like a random question on your quiz that's like easy points. It's number 15. So... So, intentionally link probably should indicate that's important. I would decide that yet. Yeah, let me give me this problem and I'll yeah, get to your calendar. All right. All right, so ready? Multiply those, 16. <laughs> Don't worry about negative exponents until you combine together. So, if I combine 2 and negative 10 together, I get negative 8. If I combine 3 and 11 together, I get y to the 14th. So, what wants to move? Yeah. So, 16y to the 14th stays on top. x to the 8th is on bottom. Okay? So, today is going to be kind of a work day. Um, wait, am I, am I on the right sheet? Good. All right. Um, so we're going to do page 191, 192. Do 1 through 8. I know, I made a mistake on the video. Skip 9 through 16 and then do 17 through 28. Please note that number 28, the answer is wrapped around. So you have to look underneath number 25. It's like we didn't have it right. Calendar.